kick Nick out, and I've got my friend Tom here because we're going to look at the specific differences after a quick spray. Now, I've already laid down the precision masking tape, but what we're going to do is throw a, a little piece of green here because you know what? This stuff is still tried and true. But what am I really going to see, Tom, when we spray this panel? Well, what you're going to see with the new PMT tape is that it wets out nice. Then, you know, at that point, the tape is locked down, and we can expect to see a sharper line as we spray specifically with waterborne paint today. And with the new waterborne paints, because they're thinner, they tend to bleed underneath the tapes, and we're not going to get that with this tape, and we can expect just a nice clean line afterwards. All right, well, you get to spray. i got to get out of here because I don't have a respirator on. Just a second, we're going to show you the results. All right, now that we've got a layer of paint down, we're going to peel these up and look at the specific differences. First, the tried and true green, which we will get to what we see here in just a second, and the new precision masking tape. And I can already tell you, just from first-hand experience with my own eyes, we're going to see a big difference. Tom, tell us about what the differences are between the two. The biggest difference is, like I touched on earlier, is we're seeing seepage in the waterborne base coat that's coming underneath the green 233. Um, I'm not sure how close the camera can see or really pick up, but right here, we have a lot of bleeding on either side, but with the PMT, it's a sharp, beautiful, perfect line. It worked great, and it's going to continue to always work great with uh, any of the waterborne paints. It makes a big difference. If people want to know more about them, where do they go? 3mcollision.com. This is first-hand experience. It works. We'll see you in the next video.